Zach Gant, NewTutorial.com, coming in making a video for you today. You know, I often talk about Psalms 19, verse 7. It says, the Torah of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. That Hebrew word is Torah there in place of the word law. That is the Hebrew word for law in your Old Testament. And it's perfect, and it converts the soul. And I often often bring up Romans 7, verse 7. It says, I had not known sin, but by the law. Because that's why it converts the soul in Psalms 19, 7. Because once you know the law, you know what sin is, and you can turn from it converting the soul. The law, the Torah of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul, and because you had not known it until you learned Torah. Very simple. Now, check this out. We're going to do something different today. This is a Rubik's Cube. I have lots of Rubik's Cube. This is my first speed cube. I just got this the other day. Pretty excited about that. I have a couple of other cubes here. Um, but, you know, we've been doing this for a while, and so I ordered a speed cube. And then something you know, a spiritual lesson kind of came to me in all this. And I thought, huh, that'd be kind of cool to share with you guys. So we'll just go ahead and take you down that road. Let me adjust the camera here so you can see because I hate trying to solve this thing when I have to hold it up. So let's just go ahead and see if we can solve this real quick. <clears throat> my kid, I'm not kidding you, my kid can almost do this blindfolded. <clears throat> He's getting really good. My oldest son is getting really good at solving the cube. <clears throat> there's some people out there who can do this crazy fast like in like eight seconds and stuff like that that's just crazy i can't do that i'm not even gonna try but um I'm never going to get that fast because I don't want to have to spend that much time learning it. Okay, now we're almost there, guys. Almost there. There we go. That's it. See? Check it out. So let me put the camera back up here. Um, solve the Rubik's Cube. Zach, you just solved the Rubik's Cube. You must be a genius. Well, yeah, actually, I am a genius, but it's not because I can solve a Rubik's Cube, okay? Solving the Rubik's Cube is actually pretty easy. Um, you just need to know the algorithms. And you're like, the what? The algorithms. You have to memorize and know the algorithms. What is an algorithm? Let's take a look at the definition of an algorithm. The definition of an algorithm is a process or a set of rules to be followed in calculations or other problem-solving operations. Okay, so you're saying an algorithm is a set of rules that solves problems. Huh, where do we see that? Oh, the Torah, a set of rules that solves actually and prevents problems. Amazing. So, I mean, you can definitely see the spiritual significance, the spiritual lesson in all this, right? A set of rules that solves problems, the Torah. See. It says in Deuteronomy, it says, uh, Behold, I set before you, uh, Deuteronomy eleven twenty six. 26, Behold, I set before you this day a blessing and a curse, a blessing if you obey the algorithms of the Lord your God, which I command you this day, and a curse if you do not obey the algorithms or, of the Lord your God, but, I, but turn aside out of the way which I command you this day. See, the blessing is being able to solve the cube by following the rules, the algorithm. And the curse is when you don't follow the algorithm, meaning you can't solve the cube, you know, set before you this day. See? Simple. One who follows the rules and one who doesn't. To solve the problem. So I found this uh, spectacular. 
um, once I realized what that was. And, you know, one day I got the cube, uh, this new speed cube, and I was like, I'm trying to, still learning it because running a speed, this is, this is a speed cube here and this is not. And running the speed cube is completely different than running the regular cube because it just goes so much faster, you know, and um, so it's just harder to run, you know, as fast. But, um, go back and fix that. Anyway, um, so I'm learning how to do that. Uh, but the algorithms stay the same. In fact, the more algorithms you memorize, the more rules you memorize, the quicker uh, you can solve this cube. And that's one of the reasons you get a speed cube. Um, so I just, I was thinking about this and, you know, a blessing and a curse. See, that's all it is. See, I think most of the time people look at the Torah and they see this, or the rules of the Torah, and they see this as a boundary to keep you in prison and locked up. When in reality, the Torah, the rules of the Torah, the commandments that God gives you, the blessings if you follow them, are there to protect you. Don't do these things. Not because I'm trying to limit you and keep you in prison, but I'm trying to protect you. That's what that's what the Torah is all about. I'm trying to keep you from error and keep you from the suffering that comes with breaking these rules. Because if you go out and you cheat on your wife, or your wife cheats on your husband, well, you know, see, that brings a lot of heartache and problems and drama in your life that you really don't want. And you broke the rules, and thus you're going to get the curses of breaking those rules. If you go out and you do some of these things that the Father says not to do, what comes along with that is a lot of heartache and drama. But see, if you go along with the perfect plan, the perfect set of rules, the perfect algorithm that the Father sets before you, your life has a lot less issues and a lot less drama. Is it going to be perfect? No, because the whole rest of the world is not following these rules. Okay, we all have fleshly desires that make us fall into sin at, at certain times or another. And so it's going to be impossible to live a perfect life. It's going to be impossible to perfectly follow the algorithm and have a perfect cube your whole life. Okay, most of you, I would assume, a lot of times your life looks like this and feels like this. Just a mess and a whole bunch of problems that you can't solve, you can't figure out. That's because the world is inundated with sin. But see, you can make your life a whole lot easier and get closer to this by following those rules, by following those commandments that bring blessings. Now, this is where we need the Messiah. So we're going to be, you know, messed up like this. You may, you may get halfway perfect, but see, it's the Messiah who gives us that perfect algorithm, perfect cube. He gives us an example to follow by what he did on this earth. Here's the Torah, the algorithm made flesh, the word made flesh. And so through him, we can achieve this. We can achieve this. But most of us still feel like this today. I found that interesting. I think, again, a lot of people think that the Torah is about limiting God's people. Why would you want to be? Why would you want to be a believer in the Bible? You're limited. You can't have the freedom of life. You can't have the, you know. And, and they see it as a set of rules to limit enjoyment of this life. When in reality, um, it's by keeping those rules that you expand and 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 learn about the fulfilling beauty of life. Because that's what that brings. That's what that Torah brings. It brings life. It brings it abundantly. And so, um, you know, there was a big spiritual lesson when I was going through and learning uh, the new Speed Cube today, or this last week, last couple of weeks, actually. And, um, you know, it says, I have written to him the great things of my Torah. Okay, but they were counted as a strange thing. So let me show you the algorithm. This is actually the algorithm for solving the corners right here on your screen. But, you know, I, was, I just did this algorithm when I was uh, doing the, um, solving the cube here in front of you. Um, but a lot of people, that's like, what does that mean? It's just a bunch of jumble of letters. I don't get that. I don't understand. It's a strange thing, Zach. But this is the algorithm that helps me solve that cube. And so it's the same thing with the Torah. You know, our Messiah says, I, he, he answered and said, I am not but sent unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Did you know that these two verses are speaking of the exact same people? One in Hosea was being talked about by uh, Hosea, by God to Hosea saying, this people, they have been cast out. They're gone into Assyria. He's talking about the northern kingdom of Israel who has disobeyed them. And the Torah has been counted to them as a strange thing. They don't recognize it because they're not keeping it. And then our Messiah comes in Matthew 15, 24. And he says, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Why are they lost? Because the Torah, the algorithm is a strange thing. They don't know it, but they will one day because that's why he's sent. 
That's why he came. I'm coming to bring them back, to make them new, one again with into the kingdom. I'm going to teach them the algorithm that they have forgotten, the rules, the set of rules that prevents and solves problems that they had forgotten. Amazing. All right, guys, we'll leave it at that. Go home, read your Bible. Thanks. Hey guys, so if you stayed around to the end of the video and after the ending sequence is played, I don't normally do this, put out hidden content, but here you go. Someone who pays attention to the timeline on the video will notice that the video is not over yet. What, what's going on? Anyway, so um, I have an extra speed cube, extra speed cube here. Uh, when I ordered this, um, it was dawning on me after I ordered it and I was playing with my cube that, you know, the spiritual lesson, you know, in here with the word algorithm. And I decided, you know, I'm going to go ahead and... Um, order two of these and give one away at the end of the video when I do the video. The speed cube is a lot different. It moves a lot quicker and I'm learning how to use it um, and so I can solve the, the puzzle quicker. Um, the, the regular uh, Rubik's cube is a little difficult and harder to, to manipulate. So anyway, um, so in order to win the speed cube, you have to leave a comment below in this video and then I'll announce the winner in a subsequent video. And the comment that you have to leave is the word algorithm algorithm. If you put the word algorithm in the comments in the video below, uh, in the description below, comment section below, then I will pick a winner from that in a couple days, and that winner will get the speed cube. I'll get your address, get your information, and send it out to you. So uh, really cool. Uh, check these out. If you can, leave a comment, and if you win, you win. Great, and uh, have a blessed day.